around very quiet, you know, nothing really crazy ever happens in Star. It's very rare, rare if it does. What more could you ask for, you know, it's, it's, it's a peaceful, nice place. <laughs> Coming from a little small town, you know, people learn how to value more um, of what they accomplish or the things they do than other people that, you know, have it all and stuff. And, you know, we work hard for it. Goal! Um, I live with both my parents and uh, my three other siblings. I have one sister, two brothers. I'm the oldest and I, I love them to death. <laughs> My dad is very old fashioned and you know, he's strict and hard on us, but uh, a lot comes on me and they expect the most out of me and put a very good example for my siblings so they won't, you know, go down the wrong path. I work from four to seven at Kerr Drug in the pharmacy and then my evenings off I go run in the park or either if I'm playing a sport, I play soccer and volleyball and that takes up my time. Um, I go out maybe like 20 or 30 minutes from here, but it's not bad, yeah. or sometimes we just chill here with all the friends. <laughs> I'm going to go to Meredith College this, this fall, and I want to go for fashion and product development, and I'm, I'm just excited and ready to go. We're from a small town in Star, but you know, in the long run, I mean, that won't really matter as long as you appreciate what you have, value what you earned, and just work hard, and you'll be successful. dad's dad was a pilot, his brother was a pilot, and my brother is a pilot, but I'm not a pilot. I'm kind of a musician, I don't know where that came from. Well, I started off just playing acoustic guitar with the old man named Harold who came and picked on the porch with me and we played fiddlers conventions and stuff but I realized I didn't like bluegrass music so I went to this rock and roll camp with this friend I had to play the drums from elementary school which I'm actually still in a band with him today and, and now we started writing our own music and stuff that's about it we've actually played on the radio stations in a lot of different states too I'm not much into like classical music and music theory and stuff, I could care less about that. So I can play music on, hopefully, I mean I would take if we got like a good record deal or something, I would go with that. And I wouldn't even, you know, have to worry about college, but that doesn't happen to most people. So if, if not, I'm probably going to major in communications in the media or something like that. You never know, I might be the next Ryan Seacrest. And um... And my backup plan is kind of the Navy, but I would go in as an officer after college. I wouldn't want to be an enlisted man. That would be bad. I want to do something adventurous with my life. I don't want to just be stuck here with like a um, boring job every day. I want to do something exciting. It keeps me on edge. Mm, advantages of growing up in Star. It is a golden opportunity, so I need to think of something, even though I haven't seen the golden opportunity. Well, I guess, like, you know how to 
work on a farm or shoot a gun or something like that. I mean, in the city, all you know how to do is just shop and blow money. I probably wouldn't be who I am if I didn't live in Star. If I lived in some big city, I'd probably be different. I might be snobby or something like that. There's a time for seriousness and there's a time for foolishness, I think. And I think that for me, I lost my foolishness. Sometimes I'll sit in my room and think about where I'm going. You know, I'm, I'm going to Wake Forest in the fall. And many of the admissions counselors have told me that I'm, I'm fortunate enough to go to Wake Forest. And I know that because the odds of me being accepted for the freshman class were 1 in 10. The odds were definitely against me. I, for the longest time I thought it was impossible. There was no way I was going to get in. So I think that had I not driven myself so far, perhaps I wouldn't have been accepted you know, to the school I've been dreaming about since sophomore year. Driving through Star, you can see the, the vacant buildings. You can you see these, you as an optimistic person may see like possibilities you know, that this town could be completely revitalized, but as someone like me who tends to be a little pessimistic, I see more the degradation of a town, you know, that a town sort of dwindling, like dwindling away, and, and it's just gonna end up drying up, you know, almost, but with those students whose parents have deceased, whose um, parents may have been laid off work, there is that sense, you know, that I maybe I shouldn't graduate or maybe I should graduate early and get a job in order to help support myself and my family. Um, and I think in a small town you definitely see that more than you would in a city. Stars ever change really, but my whole life, not really much goes on here. Everybody just wants to keep it a small town, and uh, we just stay as a community. Like, uh, everybody's just friendly with everyone. We don't want to become a big town, a town, and have that fall apart. A lot of people actually, they somehow I'm not sure they have they get trapped in every county. Like a lot of people end up coming back, and they don't really get to go out very far. And, like a lot of people think that success is money, so most people. Are going to there are people that they find success and happiness and they want to stay down in their own towns. But for me, I think that I want to travel a lot and I want to see the world. So for me, I think that I want to go ahead. After I leave STAR and I graduate my senior year, I'm hoping to go to UNCG and become an architect. And from there, I would like to become an entrepreneur and start my own business in architecture and to help remodel castles and to keep, the preser keep them preservated. I'm pretty excited about going to any university really. I, I, originally I did want to go to state, but uh, I saw it as an opportunity to go into, going into any college is pretty great, especially for my family. And I'd be one of the first of my family to graduate high school, like regular high school. And, um, I'll be the first in my family to go to a, a university, so I'm pretty excited. I quit school for a little while because my mom lost her job, and we didn't really have any way to get by. And um, I like sometimes I, I went a few days without like you know like much food and stuff like that, and I felt kind of like I had a duty to my sister and uh, and my mom that I had to get a job 
So I quit school and I did landscaping for uh, a few months, but that's a seasonal job. Uh, it'll die out usually during the winter season and stuff. And uh, so during the that time, it got like really rough. And I ended up uh, I moved out of my mom's and I was trying to trying to just find a way to get out. And uh, that's how I got moved in with my grandma. And uh, as soon as I got in with her, I started going back to school. Uh, my grandma, she pretty much gave me everything. Uh, I never asked her for money hardly. Uh, like, we may not have a lot of money and I don't have like a nice fancy car or a nice house and like really nice clothes, but she gives me the bare essentials and there's nothing more that I could ask for that. Um, every day I know that I can go in there and she, she'll have food ready for me. About every day I come home from school, she has food already prepared. Um, we may not talk about, like I don't really talk to my grandma a whole lot. But uh, I don't. Maybe I don't tell her I love her as much as I need to. But you know, she does a great deal for me, and I, I really respect her for that. Life is about being happy, and you can succeed with money, but money's not going to be anything. You build up your money, and you can have nice houses and nice cars, and you're just building up an empire of dirt, because one day that's all going to fall apart. So I think that everybody should just aim for happiness and do what they can do to achieve that.